Hi, I'm Chad Steinkamp at Northern Country Co-op, and today we're going to talk about corn mergings. So today we're out in the middle of our precision plot near Adams, and uh, a few weeks ago, uh, my intern and myself, uh, Eric Gertz and myself, uh, put some flags out here in the middle of our 34,000 uh, population check. So what we're trying to do today is to see where emergence is um, in relation to each day. So what we did out here, we, we flagged out 17 feet 5 inches, which is uh, 1 1,000th 1, of an acre. And every day after we did that, we put a flag next to it. So these pink flags, we put these out here on March 10th on a Monday. And the yellow flags the next day on the 11th and this red flag on the 12th. So we counted each day how many we had. We had the first day we had 11 come up and then another 13 on the, on the second day and then another six. This, this part of the field is supposed to be at about 34,000. I think we had just a little over 30 uh, in this spot. But for the most part, it looks like we have really good singulation across here. I don't think there's anything really missing too much, it's just wherever the 17 feet 5 inches kind of came in. But we do have a couple that we didn't mark. Basically, we did our three days and we stopped marking them. So anything after that emerged after uh, the three day period. And for the most part, we have pretty much everything flagged out here. There are a few exceptions uh, to that rule. And uh, one of them is, is right here. So you can see these are the two, uh, right here in this row, there's a couple of them that came up, you know, within the same day. Here's a yellow one, here's another yellow one. This one here came up shortly after um, we stopped flagging things. And you can see these two look relatively very close to each other in size and growth stage. So this would be a one, two, and close to a third uh, third collar uh, V3 corn. This one here is a V2, but this one might not catch up at, when, when things are all said and done. Um, when you kind of look across here, you're not really seeing much of a difference between the, uh, the days. I would say that within those three days, they all look pretty close to each other. Uh, we did this every morning for those, for those three days. So about nine, 10 o'clock in the morning, we came out here to flag this, count this. Um, we dropped some pins on field view so we can come back out here uh, later in the season and, and watch the progression. Now, just because it didn't come up at the same time doesn't mean it's all for lost. There is, there was one in this row here that was unmarked that was actually wasn't that far behind. I, this one right here doesn't look too much different from his neighbor. So just be, it, it's just because it didn't come up in that same period doesn't mean that always we're going to take a yield loss. So you can kind of see this one here versus this would be possibly two days after. This one might have been just under the surface and just didn't get counted on that third day. So we're going to kind of see how things go. For the most part, in this part of the field, we didn't see much for emergence issues, or this farm rather, but this was planted on the 28th of April. Um, we have had a lot of calls here as of late, especially last week, about uh, stuff that was planted that weekend before, so the 20, 23rd, 24th range. Uh, we have seen some issues with that and some poorer stands. Now, if you guys have listened to our podcast last week, we had Dan Kohler from uh, as grow to kelp come in and kind of talk about the same subject and uh, you know part of his comment was we we have to kind of take everything into account on where we're at for population when it was planted and when we could get back out here to plant well since uh, since then when we had that conversation we've had a couple rainstorms we've probably had almost an inch of rain on this field here so um, we're probably running out of time for fixing uh, er emergence issues on corn, but we may have some other things we may have to worry about on corn that just cropped up here in the last few days. So we're going to kind of cut it off on this video here. 
we're gonna do something special today. We're gonna do a little bit of a two for one. So we're gonna have a second video that we're going to release with this video on the problem that just kind of cropped up over the weekend, frost. 